fucked up. If you're watching this video right now, you just saw fire and sparks and absolute chaos from the dyno. Let me recap what got up to that point. We had this car together for impact of last year. We built this twin turbo full frame Garrett setup with twin G30 770s. We had a conventional intercooler setup and the car was built to make around 1200 wheel horsepower was the goal at the time. From then till now, a bunch of cars just continue to go out there and go faster while we kind of put this to the back burner. Come January, we decided let's go, you know, all in with this thing, try and get to the top of the list and keep on pushing the platform. So chopped the bumper off, built a, a, a complete different intercooler setup, different intake manifold. We added nitrous to the car with the goal of substantially more power than what it was making. We upgraded all the driveline components to be able to handle it. We took out the built stage two trans and ended up putting in a stage three trans. We did that like moments before this last event. We basically got the car on the dyno. It tuned very nicely. Uh, we switched over over from Ecutech to MHD Plus. We were one of the first cars to, to get that up and running in their beta testing. Yeah, after a little bit of growing pains with that, we were quickly on the dyno and we got it right up to about 1300 wheel horsepower on just boost. Then we started spraying nitrous, which we were originally planning on trying to run for the full track. And our first shot, car made 1375 or 76 wheel horsepower. Clean pull, logs look good. We then decided to turn it up a little bit more. That was the end result as far as you saw in the video. absolute carnage, chaos, oil everywhere. We got bits and pieces of car stuck in the ceiling, in the dyno pit. It's not good when you can see the underside of the car from the reflection of the 40 coats of oil on the fucking dyno. That was like 48 hours before the event that we were trying to go to. <laughs> Someone made the decision to rip the thing off the dyno, drag it into the shop. We have spares of everything, so we have multiple S58s, we've got multiple transmissions, we've got multiple diffs, axles, you name it, because we were planning on pushing this thing. We knew we were going to have failures, we just weren't expecting a failure at that moment. We basically ripped the car apart and we got all the guys in the shop to go, all hands on deck, tore everything apart. We got new rods and pistons uh, shipped to us same day. We got a bunch of valves so that we can try and see if we can salvage the ported head or if we were gonna have to slam together another stock head. And within a matter of a very short period of time, we had a running car. Chris, wake up. Does it work? Probably not. We pretty much had this thing up until 6 a.m. of the day of the event. The car had just been run. We loaded it onto the trailer. We didn't have a chance to do any sort of head gasket retorque, and we took it straight to Maple Grove for Beamers vs. the World. It's pretty awesome because it just kind of shows what we're able to do when everyone comes together as a team. You know, so just getting it to the track was a, a win for me. You know, we had to make a, a judgment call as to what we were gonna do power-wise, how we were gonna run the car, because we basically got one qualifying run and then right into eliminations. I decided to try and run a turn down one with some nitrous, a poor choice because it did some weird shit, it misfired. Yeah, long story short, first run was aborted. It didn't hurt anything, so that was good. Then we, uh, we turned the nitrous off, loaded up another map, Again, untested on the street, untested on anything besides the dyno. Went out there, did a nice smoky burnout. Pretty much it, it launched nice, but Trans did some weird stuff. It short shifted into you know third and fourth gear. And then I just got out of it because the pass was kind of an aborted thing. So fast forward to today, we basically got the car, pulled the valve cover off, doing a full retour, getting this thing prepped to go back on the dyno, verify everything's good. And we're gonna be heading out to some more track days pretty much as soon as possible. Excited to see where this thing goes from here. We're definitely coming for that top spot.
And this is moments right before the shit hit the fan. Look at that smug bastard. We gotta get past this baby boost. So happy, just made a bunch of power with the nitrous. First pull, what could possibly go wrong with doubling that on top of like a million pounds of boost? That's where we ended up. <laughs> With, oh. bu with buckets of, of engine parts, so. <laughs> and a mop filled with all the, the oil in the bottom of the, the dyno pit there, so. 